people, this is Razon of One here again, giving you my thoughts on the 2017 British Grand Prix that um, just happened and the coverage is just finished on Channel 4. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run through it and um, afterwards I'm I'm gonna tell you a bit uh, more why I why I think um, what Louis Hamilton did was so special, uh, you know. But uh, let's get on with the race review first. Yep, so um, we had um, two um, um, sighting laps um, because Julian Palmer uh, d didn't even uh, get to um, start the race, unfortunately, uh, because he had some engine trouble. So I feel... I felt sorry for him, given that it's his home Grand Prix. And then the two Toro Rossos, um, or Daniel, to be more specific, Daniel Kvyat did did something that uh, you never do to your teammate, which is cr crash into into him. So Dan um, Kvyat crashed into into the side of um, science, uh, ultimately resulting in, in his ret him retiring from the race. So uh, science wasn't very happy about that, and uh, yeah. So uh, I wonder what's going to happen to to Daniel Daniel Kvyat because I have actually heard that I've actually read read an article on. On uh, uh, motorsport to tile.com, which is uh, a German uh, motorsport website um, that I frequently use uh, to um, enhance my, you know, to get more information other than the English uh, press and media, obviously. Uh, anyway. I read an article on there that uh, that Carlos Sainz could be a Renault driver um, by by the uh, uh, by the Hung Hung Hungarian Grand Prix, and uh, uh, apparently uh, the transfer fee would be would um, would be. Seven, seven million uh, euros apparently. Um, so uh, I would like your opinion on what you what you think about that. Um, obviously, that would mean that Julian Palmer would uh, lose his uh, seat apparently, and uh, Pierre Gasly possibly going into getting this. Second Toro Russell seat. It was very mar marginal. Uh, you know, it was hard but fair. Um, yes, so uh, it was just pure racing. It was awesome to see. Um, yeah, so that was sort of my highlight of the race um, in terms of battling on track. What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments section below. The um, Nika Eikenberg uh, managed to get uh, finished finished uh, where he started in sixth position, uh, earning the, the team a, cap, a few val valuable points. Um, they did, uh, he did. Um, have a new floor this weekend, um, but you know, uh, which seemed to be seemed to be uh, working well for him, given 
given the result. And uh, I think um, Renault are making steady progress. Um, yeah, and especially Hülkenberg. Um, I think I think um, Ju Julian Palmer is is having a similar um, spell of bad luck uh, as uh, Max Verstappen did uh, in, uh, in the last few races because um, everything seems seems to go wrong. On his car, um, rather than Nico Hakenberg's car, um, my question is, um, how how are they if they do get signs in uh, before Hungary um, or anybody or anybody else? So in other words, if they do replace him, how can they justify it because of the reliability issues he's had. Um, I mean, I mean, I know I've been saying that he needs replacing, and I still stick by, stick by that. But on the other hand, they need to give him a, a, a reliable car uh, so that he can actually prove why why he should stay in that seat. Uh, what's your opinion on that? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, did have to retire at uh, close to the end uh, in in the middle of the race uh, because of uh, as an effect of the damage of his um, previous collision with uh, signs. He also received a drive-through penalty for that crash, uh, for causing a collision. For the, uh, you know, for uh, now actually it wasn't because he caused a collision. It was how he, where he um, re rejoined the track. So the the um, the uh, extra penalty wasn't. For uh, the actual offence, uh, which I think he should have gotten a penalty for, um, you know, because he he basically crashed into his teammate, and um, I you don't you, teams don't like to see that in general. Um, so uh, I am. Um, but having said that, I think I think uh, Toro Russell will have stellar words with the Kvyat about that. So, what what was your opinion on that? Uh, were you surprised that he actually got the got the um, penalty because of where he rejoined the track rather than the actual collision? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Last. Two laps were quite uh, eventful because both the Ferrari uh, drivers uh, suffered tire delamination and had to come in for um, unscheduled pit stops, where, um, which dropped um, Sebastian Vettel down to sevens and Kimi down down lost to place. To Valtteri Bottas, um, uh, because Kimi Kimi lost second place, um, but he did get third in the end. Oh, and uh, Lewis Hamilton won uh, his fourth victory at at in at the Silverstone circuit. Um, which uh, ties him uh, with with Jim Clark. Uh, although Jim Clark has achieved the same fight, uh, the, the same thing uh, across two the 
Silverstone and the other circuit, I can't remember which, I can't remember off the top of my head which one it was, uh, anyway, um, so, because, uh, because of that issue, um, there's only, that there's only one point in, in it now, so, uh, from my point of view, the, um, the 2017 season is is um, is going to restart uh, from Hungary onwards because there's literally a point in it and any it's anyone could win it uh, anyone of three co three drivers could win it in my opinion um, it's uh, Lewis Hamilton um, Sebastian Vettel and and Valtteri Bottas, although in my opinion Valtteri Bottas is 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 has only got an outside chance uh, because I think he's got to play water boy to Lewis now. Um, uh, although I would I would love nothing more than to be proved wrong. Um, but I think that's that is that is that is the score in in uh, the Mercedes camp at the minute, even though they haven't publicly uh, said anything. So um, yeah, and I I actually got quite emotional uh, seeing the um, when they did the the team photograph the team. When they took the team photograph in the pits, because uh, when Mercedes did that, because um, Louis Louis actually had uh, Billy Manga as a guest, um, and he also had a he also heard a story of of a terminal a guy that that had. Terminal cancer, apparently, and he brought him out um, to in on on um, to the race, apparently, and uh, got him in got him involved in the. He actually got him them two involved in the in the uh, team photo and the team celebration and. Uh, I'm telling you from my own experience, these things um, will stay with you forever because um, I can remember when I wrote to uh, uh, all the Formula One teams asking uh, for advice on how I can combine my love for Formula One and and uh, my business, which is translation. Um, um, I actually wrote to every Formula One team, and Williams, uh, more specifically, Claire Williams, um, responded, and uh, you know, and she, I, I, I only, I expected only to get like, uh, like an autograph of the drivers or something, but uh, she actually invited me to the. Factory up uh, up in in Grove, and on the 30th of October 2017, I actually got to uh, got to see the factory and uh, and um uh, and spend some time with the engineers. If you if you um wanna wanna see some pictures uh or uh, go to my Razon of one Facebook page. Um, I've I, I managed to take some pictures. Um, not not in the factory, but uh, in the museum. Um, so so the only reason why I'm mentioning it is because these things will these things uh, still I still remember th that day as soon as. As if it was yes yesterday, and uh, I I take inspiration from that letter, um, 
uh, every, every every day because I actually got it above my uh, uh, I actually got it got it framed above my desk hanging above my desk so um, you know um, I just want to say that these things you'll never forget and I can guarantee you that that these that that uh, neither neither Billy nor the guy the guy that has that has that has terminal cancer and is wheelchair bound will ever forget that 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 those days will stick with you for for the rest of your life and uh, I kind of agree with Eddie Jordan um because um I mean we we all uh, gave gave Lewis some stick some um stick about not attending uh, London Life but including myself actually um but uh, seeing seeing these um seeing these uh, images today actually actually um kind of uh, I kind of re retract um you know I kind of retract that cr criticism of him because because although um because although it it was it was uh bad for him not uh it, it, it uh, I wouldn't say bad but uh, although it was a uh, maybe not the greatest uh choice he ever made by not attending it um let's face it he does do a lot um for the fans like you know you as i mentioned in my pr yesterday's video and uh, the things that i saw today and uh, the fact that he got billy monga as a guest you know what I, mean? I think he does do a lot for the fans but uh, maybe, maybe um, you know, we we should just give him a bit of slack, you know, and just just give him some slack and uh, get the media to actually focus on on these things rather than not, rather than not, uh, rather than giving him a, a hard time for not attending, um. For not attending London London Life, uh, you know. Um, so, uh, what's your opinion on it? Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this video, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, do you know? Um, you know, find me on Facebook, uh, Twitter, and uh, Google Plus. Um, um, links are uh, on on my on my um, on my pa uh, on my YouTube page, um, and uh, also if you like what you see, why not uh, why not show your appreciation by, uh, by maybe donating some. A small amount of something via my via my PayPal page, uh, just so that I can get get a coffee or something, uh, you know, because I'm addicted to coffee now. Uh, but only if you can afford it. I love I love what I do, and uh, I do it. Uh, not only my number one reason is to, for doing it is for doing Ras on one is because I'm. Uh, I love Formula One, and uh, the second reason is uh, that that it actually helps me conquer my uh, anxieties, which have which have gone down dramatically since I started. So uh, <laughs> you know, it's uh, for me talking about Formula One is is what I love and. I love Formula One, and uh, you, 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 you guys watching my video 
my videos really makes makes my day and uh, cheers for all your support and god bless and uh, <laughs> um why not consider subscribing yes and i leave my paypal um paypal um address uh in it's in the it's in the uh, description but i'm also gonna put it at the, at the back of this video um so you know but only do it if you want to but uh keep on commenting and you know because it really does mean a lot to me and i'll see you in two weeks time see you later guys bye